Uh, I think uh, just because of timing, maybe we can do one more story and then um, uh, we could save the couple that are left maybe for um, Jay to join next time. Um, just so they can he can see it. I don't think he's seen this yeah, video anyway. Yeah. So Yeah, so we'll go into, I guess, another uh, Yeah, I think you'll really enjoy these for sure. Yeah, I didn't... Um, yeah, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, right? This is awesome, man. Kids books. <laughs> Kids books. They're the best, isn't it? <laughs> so better to watch this than... I mean, I mean, I love the academia stuff. Don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> but this is so much more absorbable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, well, it's personal stories, right? That, personal stories is so much. I mean, that's what we're trying to share story. here too. So. Written by Annaline Salvador Morris and illustrated mm. by Kelly Ramos. In oh, the it's village Annaline. of Kano, cool. in Bonto, at the end of the harvest season, the mothers taught their young children how to weave on a pinahot. Fatan learned how to weave at a young age. Mm. She started with a small piece of cloth. As she grew, she wove longer and longer cloth on her practice loom that her father made. Fatan watched the old women weave special kinds of garments for the dead. These are specially woven clothes for the Hachangyan, the rich people in Bontok. The upper garment for the women is pure white with Minamata designs. Fatan found the eye-like designs comforting. It is like the eyes of her ancestors watching over her. There were also blankets with lines of dark colors and lowing cloths with a special weave for the elder Kachangyan male. Fatan wanted to learn how to weave all these garments, but it is prohibited for a young woman to weave death garments. The elders believe that a young woman who weaves these will not bear children. <laughs> the time came when Fatan had to leave the village to go to Poblacion. She then got married and started a family in Baguio City. Far from Can O, she never forgot how to weave. Her weaving is like a thread that binds her to her village. She practiced on her pinahod, then learned how to weave on a tilar, or the futun of the Ilocanos. Using a futun, she could weave longer cloths that she can sell for a higher price. Fatan asked her husband, Tanungan, who was a carpenter, to make a tilar. With her own futun, she can continue weaving in her home and take care of her small children. One day, Fatan saw the two backstrap looms she inherited. Her mother also got them from her own mother, Apo Chauit. She remembered how patient her mother was in teaching her how to weave when she was young. She recalled her mother patiently moving the warp and weft over and over to produce the designs on the fabric. She suddenly missed her village, the place where she grew up, where she learned how to weave. Fatan returned home to Kan O. She gathered the women there, showing them how they can improve their weaving. Her husband taught the men how to build footlooms for their wives. Soon, the women were producing <laughs> colorful cool. skirts and blankets on their own telar. These skirts and blankets were brought to Bontok Poblacion and sold there. Now, whenever she goes home to Kan O, Fatan hears the sound of weaving in her village. She is happy to hear the shuttles running back and forth over the wefts of the loom in every household. She smiles and is pleased to see her people weaving again. The old weavers continue to weave the death garments while the younger women weave the colorful blankets that we see in the public market today.
In Baguio, Fatan continues to teach her friends and students on how to weave. First, on their backstrap looms, and then on the telar. Wow, that was cool. I love this resurgence in terms of just uh, our people like learning the old ways of like weaving and just I, I'm not it's amazing. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's like this whole revival of our culture and pride taking in it. It's, it's awesome, man. It's, uh, and it's not even, it's, it really it's also, feels good in the soul to know that the mm. themes are like passing down. <clears throat> the right. theme is like moving yeah. to the next. Yeah. Right? Really cool. And, and look at the, the next generation with the, the footlooms, I guess. Do you know that was from um, Ilocano? <laughs> I had no idea. That's, that's what I was going to so ask. So there you go. Like earlier. No. I was asking like, the well, that makes yeah. the that makes sense. That's why, it, yeah. Usually, what you see is the is the hand ones, right? The ones you sling on the side. So, yeah, that the, makes, the normal that makes ones sense. you have in the house, right? And I think it's right. important for people to know that. I mean, this isn't just stories. There's real things with actual research. So it's pretty accurate what uh, is being told right. here. So that's interesting. These mm -hmm. are blowing my I'm mind. To be honest, here. that's crazy. Yeah, Anna Lynn Bitter Holman. <laughs> That's what I appreciate. It's amazing. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> she's a great she's a great researcher, man, and she's like on the forefront of, uh, you know, really trying to share our uh, share the culture. And so it's man, it's so much appreciated. It's amazing. Sure. Yeah, I I think yeah. the children's stories are blowing blowing my mind a little bit because it's I love hearing these like real life stories yeah. coming out from here yeah. you know and and yeah the big looms uh, i didn't know that they're ilocano looms but that kind of makes sense because you know in terms of like larger production it would probably start on the lowlands first right right exactly yeah oh, yeah. yeah so interesting so um this is yeah, about halfway ish cool. I you think know what, one of the, the things that stood here. out to me was Yep, go ahead. Oh, but let me just add one thing before we, we before we end. The one thing that stood out because I was thinking I was part of the things I was wondering was like how come my, how come my grandma didn't you know teach more people when she was young uh, and 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 maybe who know maybe it has I don't know if that that cultural taboo of young young girls learning is across the board in Mountain Province or just in Bontok. But, you know, I, that could have been one of the reasons why a lot of younger folks didn't learn it to begin with was because of that cultural taboo. Where it's like, oh, we shouldn't, mm -hmm. you don't teach them at such a young age because if you teach them, they might become infertile and not have be, be able to have children. And that was like the, one of the greatest things you can have uh, in the culture is to be fertile, right? And, and to have offspring, so I wonder if that taboo had to deal. It's kind of like with the prevention of <laughs> the pro proliferation of of weaving, you know, and where to the point where a lot of this almost died until like the cultural pride was brought back up again. You know what I mean? I'm not really sure because weren't they saying that um, it was just the uh, death garments that they couldn't? They could do the regular ones. That's oh, true. Okay, I didn't. But I think that I think part. Mark has a point so that was where the, when that it was... comes to the the younger generation being pushed to do other things rather than taking up the practice, right? Yeah, perhaps, maybe. maybe yeah, that's another ask... aspect too. That's I wonder aspect. if we could ask I mean, somebody like... about that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. Could maybe people asked? could share their hmm. their 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 personal stories. That's what I've been yeah, trying that's... to get to. Like, yeah, I've no, been that's trying to like. Um... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. No, I was just gonna say yeah. That that that's true. Like people can share their stories about 
anything leaving as well like if they know if they know it if they learned it if i mean let us know we can share those stories too because just yeah and and in what circumstances did you learn it like yeah, were you exactly. allowed to you know do the death garments yeah. or were you forbidden as well like yeah we'd love Fair to know down below 